Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you the best plugins and some tips to help you on your journey to get faster times with speedrunning in old school RuneScape. You don't need to use these plugins to get fast times, but it's going to really help you if you're looking to improve on your time. So if you're looking to get the platinum trophies in the easiest way, then stick around and I'll show you how to do it. So all of these plugins, they are available in the plugin hub um, as part of RuneLite and they are safe to use. So to install these plugins, you're going to need to go to the little spanner in the top right corner of RuneLite. And if you scroll right to the bottom, down to Plugin Hub, and type the names of these plugins in, press Enter, and they're going to appear. You're just going to need to click Install, and it will load them into RuneLite for you. So the first plugin I'm going to start with is Ground Markers. What Ground Markers do is they mark the tiles on the ground, which is really useful. Um, because it can show you where you need to click your mouse before entering a new area. Um, so for example, on this on the screen I've got them where um, I need to click where the fish food is on the second level after using the steps. Um, so it just allows, allows you to position your mouse in a really um, good position. Um, to use the plugin you just need to hold shift and right click on your tile, select mark tile um, and this will highlight it for you. Uh, it's also useful after you've marked the tile you can add a label to it by shift clicking and adding the label um, what you can do with this is you can add your split times um, so you can sort of see where you're losing times if you really want to uh, what I do I just add it I'll watch some fast videos and then I'll add the times that they reach them tiles on and uh, yeah it really helps uh, what I'll do I'll put my settings for the plugin up on the screen so you can just see them So the second plugin is screen markers. Uh, I think this comes pre-installed with RuneLight, um, but it's going to be useful because it lets you mark areas on your screen where fixed objects are going to appear. So the best example for this would be during Vampire Slayer, you need to purchase hammers, teleports and a chronicle book, and they always appear in the same place no matter how you open the buy screen. Um, so can, this can really help when it comes to buying these particular things. So the third plugin is called Tile Indicator. Now this is really useful because of how old school works in the back end. So in old school, in the, the engine registers your character arriving on the tiles before it's visually presented to you. And the tile indicator shows you where you actually are according to the engine of the game rather than what you can visually see. Um, this is useful because it allows you to perform your next action at the earliest possible time. Um, and it allows for optimal clicking basically. The next useful plugin is called Ping Grapher. This is more of a visual sort of uh, indicator. It's all it is, all it does is it shows you what your ping is for the current current world. Um, because if you've got high latency, uh, your actions are going to be delayed. And if you've got ping spikes throughout your run, uh, you know it's going to be compromised in some points. So it's useful to have this open and just keep your eye on it just to make sure that the the world you're in is the optimal world to do your runs in. Another really great plugin is NPC Indicator. So what this does is it allows you to highlight certain NPCs. So for example, when you're getting some training arrows during Vampire Slayer, it's quite useful to have the ranged instructor highlighted as there's about three of them that look the same. Um, so it just allows you to click the right one all of the time and it's going to save you a lot of frustration in the long run. So this next plugin is the most important plugin uh, out of all of this list. Um, it's going to save you the most time uh, out of all of them and what it is is menu entry swapper. So what this will enable you to do is to swap what your clicks do in the game. So for example on, a, on the range tutor you can swap the menu entry to claim your arrows with a left click rather than using a right click and claim. Uh, you can do this by pressing shift selecting what you want the left click to do um, but you can also include a shift click. So when you hold your shift on your keyboard or keybind um, and click, you can then perform a different action. So this can be really helpful when it comes to things like going up and down ladders, especially on a second floor. So you can have a shift click to go down a ladder, normal click to go up a ladder, and it will just save you just a lot of time. Um, what I will do is I'll put my settings up on the screen uh, now so you can uh, just copy my settings because there is quite a few different configurations you can use. Now this next one isn't a plugin per se, but it's just an important one to make sure you've got enabled and that is F keys. So that's in settings and controls because these can go a really long way with saving you some time. Um, 
mainly through using home teleport. Um, so for example, in the cook's assistant quest, you need to teleport really quickly after you've got the bucket of milk. So you can wait for the bucket of milk to appear in your inventory, press your F key, and it'll switch the teleports really fast. Um, I'll show you an example of how, how it's done. Another plugin that's really useful is the shortest path plugin. What this can do is it can show you the shortest path to a specific set destination. So if you're performing a run, you can set a destination, or if you're scouting a run, you can uh, check which actually is the shortest route. And that's it really, that's the list of plugins that I think are insanely helpful to use while speedrunning. And if you do make use of these plugins, then I don't think you're going to have many issues achieving platinum times on almost all of the quests. So if you found this video useful, please click like and subscribe. Okay, cheers.